we want to graph the solution to the system of quadratic inequalities, which means we need to solve each inequality and then the double shaded region is going to be the solution to the system. Looking at the first inequality, because the inequality is greater than or equal to, we are going to have a solid parabola because the graph will be part of the solution. And for the second inequality, because the inequality is less than, we will have a dashed parabola, which means the graph is not part of the solution. Let's write the equations of the corresponding quadratic functions. For the first inequality, the corresponding function is y equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. And for the second inequality, the corresponding function is y equals negative x squared minus 4x. And again, we need to remember when we graph the first function, the parabola will be solid. And for the second, and for the second graph, the parabola will be dashed. Notice how the equations are in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, which means we'll graph the parabolas by determining the axis of symmetry and then the vertex and then some additional points. Also remember when a is negative, the parabola opens down. When a is positive, the parabola opens up. Let's begin by identifying the values of a, b, and c. So for this first function, a, the coefficient of x squared is one, b is positive two, and c is negative eight. And for the second quadratic function, a is negative one, because we have negative x squared here, b is negative four, and c is zero. Notice there is no constant on the right. Back to the first function, because a is positive, the parabola opens up, and for the second graph, because a is negative, the parabola opens down. Let's begin by determining the equation of the axis of symmetry for this first quadratic function. Again, the equation is x equals negative b divided by two a, which in our case will be negative two divided by two times one, which gives us negative two divided by two, which is equal to negative one. So the equation of the axis of symmetry is x equals negative one. And we also know the x coordinate of the vertex is also negative one. So now we'll find the corresponding y coordinate of the vertex by substituting negative one back into the original quadratic function, which gives us y equals the square of negative one plus two times negative one minus eight, which gives us y equals one plus negative two or minus two minus eight, which is equal to negative nine. So the vertex is the ordered pair negative one comma negative nine. To find some additional points, let's also find the horizontal or x-intercepts. Every point on the horizontal axis has a y-coordinate of zero, and therefore to find the x-intercepts, we set y equal to zero. So for the x-intercepts, we will have two of them, but we know y is equal to zero. So now we substitute zero for y into the original equation, and then solve for x. Performing the substitution gives us the equation zero equals x squared plus two x minus eight. Let's solve by factoring. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative eight to add to positive two are positive four and negative two. The product on the right is equal to zero when x plus four is zero or when x minus two is zero and therefore we have two solutions, x equals negative four or x equals positive two. These are the x coordinates for the x intercepts. So one x intercept is negative four comma zero and the other is two comma zero. Now if we did want to find the vertical or y intercept, we would set x equal to zero. Notice when x is zero, we would have y equals zero plus zero minus eight, giving us a y intercept of negative eight, which is the ordered pair zero comma negative eight. When we have an equation in this form, c, the constant term, is always the y-intercept. Let's go ahead and graph this parabola, and then we'll shade the solution for the inequality. And again, we make a solid parabola. So let's first plot the vertex of negative one comma negative nine, which is here. And we know the axis of symmetry is the vertical line passing through the vertex, which is here. Let's plot the x-intercepts. Negative four comma zero is here, and two comma zero is here. 
Notice both points are three units from the axis of symmetry, which is a nice check to make sure we found these correctly. And we did also find the y-intercept of zero comma negative eight, which is here, which means there's a corresponding point on the left of the axis of symmetry, which would be here. Let's go ahead and graph the parabola. And again, it's solid. So the graph looks something like this. And now we need to shade based upon the original inequality. Because we have y is greater than or equal to, we are going to shade above the vertex or inside the parabola. So the solution to the first quadratic inequality is any point in this region here, including the points on the graph because we have a solid graph. Let's go ahead and select a test point in this region to make sure it does satisfy the original inequality. We can select any point in the shaded region. Let's select the origin, this point here, which is the ordered pair zero comma zero. So to test zero comma zero, we substitute zero for x and zero for y into the original inequality, which would give us zero is greater than or equal to, we'd have zero squared plus two times zero minus eight, which gives us zero is greater than or equal to zero plus zero minus eight is negative eight. Zero greater than or equal to negative eight is true, which does verify we did shade the correct region. And now we'll move along to the second parabola and the second inequality. Let's begin by determining the equation of the axis of symmetry. So we have x equals negative b divided by two a is going to be negative negative four divided by two times negative one, which gives us positive four divided by negative two, which is negative two. So we know the axis of symmetry is the line x equals negative two. We also know for the vertex, the x coordinate is negative two. And now to find the corresponding y coordinate, we substitute negative two into the quadratic function which gives us y equals the opposite of the square of negative two minus four times negative two. Simplifying, the square of negative two is positive four, but then we have a negative sign here which gives us negative four, and this becomes plus eight, which gives us positive four. The vertex is negative two comma four. And again, to find some additional points, let's find the x-intercepts by setting y equal to zero, we will have two x-intercepts. If we set y equal to zero, we have the equation zero equals the opposite of x squared minus four x. Again, that's solved by factoring. X is the greatest common factor, but let's factor out negative x. To factor out negative x, we're left with x plus four. The values of x that make the product on the right equal to zero are x equals zero, or x equals negative four. So again, we have two x-intercepts, zero comma zero and negative four comma zero. And now for this function, if we try to find the y-intercept by setting x equal to zero, notice how when x is zero, y is also zero, and therefore this point here, the origin, is both an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So let's go ahead and plot the vertex and the x-intercepts to graph the second parabola, but again, remember, this time it's going to be dashed. So the vertex is negative two comma four, which is this point here in green. And the two x-intercepts are negative four comma zero, this point here, and zero comma zero, the origin. Let's go ahead and graph the parabola, but again, it is going to be dashed. And now we need to shade the solution to the second inequality, because we have y is less than, we are going to shade below the vertex of the dashed parabola, which means we shade inside the parabola. And therefore, this green region is the solution to the second quadratic inequality. Let's go ahead and select a test point to verify we did graph the correct solution to the second quadratic inequality. And again, we can select any point in the green shaded region, just not any points on the parabola. So for example, let's select this point here, which is zero comma negative two. So we substitute zero for x and negative two for y. Performing substitution into the second inequality, we have negative two is less than 
the opposite of the square of zero minus four times zero, which gives us negative two is less than zero, which is true. So we did graph the solution to the second inequality correctly. But again, the solution to the system is the double shaded region, which is this region here bounded by the two parabolas. Let's highlight this area. The final solution to the system is this region here. Any point in this region, including this part of the solid graph, but not this part of the dashed graph, would satisfy the system of quadratic inequalities and represents the solution. I hope you found this helpful.